casó. Your mercy found me, called me as your own. Mercy, your mercy saved me, mercy made me whole. Your mercy. You have chosen us, you have called us, Father. And we want to exhort this today, Lord God. We want to just dwell in your word, Father God, for the rest of this time, Lord God. We are calling on your presence, Father, to just dwell upon us, Lord God. Live in us, Father, so that we can live new lives for you, Father God. Free from sin, Lord God. Free from sin that destroys, that kills us, Father God. We pray for freedom, Lord God, in our lives. We thank you, Father, for you are good. You are faithful, Father. You are faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Christ. So, what God thinks about me, what God thinks about us. Ano ba yung tingin sa atin ni Lord? Kasi it's important that as children of God, as believers, we know our place. Diba? Yung parang, we know our identity in Christ. So, sabi dito, who we are determines how we act. 
So, kumbaga, it comes from within. When you know that you are chosen, when you are, you know that you are God's child, God's daughter, God's, mm -hmm. ba, God's son, you would know how to act. Kasi, kasi ano eh, parang, yun yung nature mo. You know, kumbaga, kasi tayo, we don't know that anak tayo ni God sometimes parang lalo na yung like before compared before hindi natin alam na ano pala alam pala ni God everything that we do before kumbaga before we sleep even when we wake up God is looking upon us yung ganun um, parang what I wa just want to parang i-exhort today is for us to know that kung ano yung tingin ni God sa atin so parang sabi dito internal identity dictates external lifestyle so parang when you know that alam uh, na God watches over you, that God knows you by name, that God has chosen you, you would, kumbaga, yung alam mo yun in your heart, it would reflect in your external life. Diba? Yung parang, kumbaga, the beauty, diba sabi nga parate, yung beauty comes from within and it is it reflects in what you do. So, nature determines action. Parang, parang fish. Hindi siya fish dahil nagsiswim siya. Nagsiswim siya dahil fish siya. So, parang ang nature niya kasi, dahil fish siya, magsiswim siya. So, parang tayo, it's important for us as children to know that God really loves us, that God really um, put you where you are today because yun ang gusto niya for you. Yun yung will niya sa'yo. Gusto niya ganito yung for you. Gusto niya alam mong you are precious. Precious. I'm precious. precious. God wants us to know na we are, we are precious in His eyes. So, yun. Importante yun kasi yun makikita, dun magdidepend yung outlook mo ba? Kasi, parang ano, for example, yung mga problem child. Di ba, yung parang came from a broken home, parang uh, felt not loved at all nung bata sila. Di ba, minsan nagiging drug addict. Yung most of the time, pangit yung kinakalabasan kasi feeling nila hindi sila precious, hindi sila loved. Di ba, usual, usual yun. Although may mga ibang tao na because of that, nagra-rise up at pinaprove, alam mo yun, nagiging good yung outcome. Pero most of the time, it's bad. Kasi nga, on their own, mula bata sila, nakagis na nila na, ah, hindi pala ako mahalaga. Gawin lang sila ng awa. Hindi. Alam mo yun? So, para it's important for us to know kung ano yung stand natin in Christ. Kung na tayo, uh, yung identity natin, we are chosen, we are holy, we are royal. So, um, yung verse dito is from ver 1 Peter 2, verse 9 to 10. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So that is what the Bible says. We are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. Because sometimes we fail to acknowledge in our minds na, Ano lang naman eh, ganito lang ako. May inferiority complex tayo misan, hanggang dito na lang ako. Mahirap lang kami. Alam mo yung parang, it defeats you eh. Pero when you know the truth in the Bible that God says that we are chosen, we are royal, we are holy, a people belonging to Him, then you will realize, ay, ganun pala ako kahalaga in God's eyes. Amen. Diba? Eh, parang, misan kasi, feeling natin, performance, ang tawag doon? May performance attitude tayo na you always have to perform para people will acknowledge you, people will recognize you, you people, may approval ano tayo, mentality of people. Pero when we know that God approves of you, God is cho has chosen you, God has called you, then you will realize, ay, iba na yung outlook mo eh. Parang, grabe, yung God of the universe, the creator of the heavens and the earth, chose me. Diba parang, then you will feel na, wow, well, parang ang precious ko pala. Diba? Ay, parang, ganun pala yung tingin ni God sa akin. So, yun yung ano natin. You are chosen, royal, and holy. Now, act like it. Parang it's like Peter is saying, now that you know that you are, um, parang, ito yung stand mo in God's eyes, now we should act like it. Paano ba mag-act daw yung chosen, royal, and holy? Paano daw ba kaya? Just like a holy. So, yun. So, first point, we are chosen. We are chosen. We are not left out. Hindi tayo leftovers hindi tayo unwanted. Even though people fee, uh, makes us feel na unwanted tayo, kasi ganun eh, we always fall short as humans, di ba? We are sinners, manama tayong factors, alam mo yun, isa nakakasakit tayo, even Christians nga eh. We talk back to our parents, may masasabi tayo sa mga part, sa asawa na, dami nating nasasabing mali. So we always fall short. 
di ba, as humans. Pero ito yung pinapakita sa ating perspective ni God. Na although people may fail you, He will never fail you. Sabi niya, you are not a leftover. You are not unwanted in my eyes. So yun, sabi niya dito, God chose us because He loves us. Not because we love Him. Kung baga hindi, unconditional si God eh. Kahit di mo siya mahal, kahit di mo siya pinapansin, He loves you still. Ganun yung ano niya, it's unconditional. No condition, wala kang good works na dapat gawin, wala kang dapat i-prove. Kung baga, although, it will, kung baga pag nalaman mo kasing love ka, you will love Him back. Pero in a, in a way, it doesn't change. Yung, en- yung unending love niya stays the same. We have, he has chosen us because He loves us. Diba? Kung baga hindi yan reciprocating, mahal ka pa rin niya. Even, no matter what. Ganun yung ano niya. Sabi sa Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 to 8, For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be His people. His treasured possession. Paano ba yung, paano ba ti treat yung treasured possession mo? Diba? Tayo, we have treasured possessions. How do you, t- iniingatan mo, diba? Kung baga yung look, look out after them. Parang, kayo, like may mga anak, siya po wala anak. Pero I mean, yung may mga anak, di ba you look out after them, you make sure that they eat every day, three, ta- three times a day, may snack pa yan, may mid, everything. Kasi nga, you have chosen, anak mo yan eh. Ganun, ganun si God. God. That is God, how God sees us. Sabi pa dito, the Lord did not set His affection on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other people. Mas sabi niya, walang ano to, condition. For you were the fewest of all people, peoples, but it was because the Lord loved you. Yun yung, ano, but because the Lord loves us. That's why He has chosen us. Second point, God chose us because He is strong, not we, not because we are strong. Kasi sometimes, parang feeling natin, like kung kunari, may position ka na sa church, or alam mo yun, may standing ka na in, 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 work, in the workplace, mm-hmm. well, successful ka na, feeling mo you are strong, mm-hmm. kaya ka, bless pa more, alam mo yun, parang feeling mo, it's your own capabilities, pero hindi, He is strong, even before, alam mo yun, yun na yun, His love is an ending, He is really strong, tapos sabi dito sa 1 Corinthians 1.27, to support that, God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Mm-hmm. Iba nga how, how Jesus chose the disciples, fishermen, kumbaga yung mga un- uneducated. Kasi he wants to prove na no amount of, alam mo yun, he can use anyone. He he chooses e- alam, everyone. Alam mo yun, parang hindi ibig sabihin na weak ka, hindi ka pwedeng gamitin ni God for His glory. So, yun yung just to point out na it's not because of our strength. Because He is always strong. Diba? diba? Parang may times na we are weak at some point, pero God is always strong. Yun yun. Yung parang, you don't have you have, don't have to strive. Diba? Next is, God chose us because He is wise, not because we are wise. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 1, 27-29, diba? But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Parang walang magbo-boast sa kanya. Parang, ito na, politiko na ako, or sa, alam mo yun, mataas na yung standing ko. Hindi, gagamitin niya yung the lowliest of the lowliest to prove you na he can use anyone, di ba, for his glory. Di ba, parang, kailangan minsan kasi pang feeling natin pag may kinakatayuan na tayo sa mundo, tayo na yung mas nakakaangat. Pero gan nga eh, ganun kung paano mag-work si God. He uses the lowliest, the weakest, di ba, the, the despised things, so that no one may boast before him. Ayaw niya kasi ng, ano eh, kumbaga, he is wiser than anyone eh. Yung wisest natin, foolish, foolishness pa kay God. Di ba, his thoughts are, ano, kumbaga, you our thoughts his thoughts are higher than our, our thoughts so ganung ganung level yung si god so never we should never boast before him diba sabi nga ni ano we just kumbaga ang pwede lang natin i-boast is ano what jesus did in the cross yung 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 ano niya yung the message na pinapa ano niya sa atin god chose us for his fruitfulness not because of our success you did not choose me but i chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last Diba nga, pag may inner change sa heart mo, when God, when the Holy Spirit lives in you, it, it, it is determined by your actions. May fruit na lumalabas. May fruit yung Holy Spirit sa life mo. Yung dating napaka mabilis mo nang magalit, ngayon para mas mapasensyo. Napapansin, alam mo yun, may, makikita sa buhay mo, may fruit siya. Sabi dito, God chose us and appointed us to bear fruit. To go and bear fruit. So next point, we are royal. We are royal daw. Sabi dito, Peter calls us a royal priesthood. 
So as Christians, we are born into a privileged bloodline. Paano ba pag royal? Diba? Kung baga, walang standing kung nag-aral ka man sa Harvard, sa Oxford, Cambridge, it will never you make you royal. Diba? Walang, kasi royal yan eh. Kung baga bloodline yan, nasa dugo. Ganun daw tayo in Christ. Nasa dugo daw yung pagka-royal natin. It is a privileged bloodline. So we should hold our heads high and walk in confidence. Amen. Na even though marami kang trial sa life, I'm walking in confidence because God sees me, di ba, as His princess, as His prince, di ba? Yun yung ganun tayo ka tignan ni God, na we fail to realize sometimes. Sabi dito, tas yung word na royal, di ba, royal, ganun yung royal, madaling itinig yung royal, priesthood naman. Paano ba pag priest? To be a priest was a spiritual privilege for a few. Di ba, hindi naman lahat priest, lahat to tayo. Di ba, in old times, even now, si pastor lang yung Diba? Hindi, ta- hindi lahat tayo, pastor. Ganun, ganun yung ano eh. Pero sabi dito ni God, ano, we have special access. Yun yung difference natin na as Christians. We are, we have special access to God and a place of honor in society. Ganun daw yung priest. So in Christ, ganun daw tayo, we have access. We don't have to go to mountains. We don't have to go to saints. We don't have to go to this kind of church. Diba? Alam mo yun? We can, we have access, we have special access kay God that we can always come to Him. So, yun. Sabi, we are royalty, we are a priesthood, we should act like like it by living in the presence of God. Diba? Day to day, it's a walk. Yung, yung Christian life is a walk. Kasi, sometimes when we fail to read the Bible or just pray, ang bilis, it's just like this, oh. Sin nag-sin ka na. It's hard. Kahit sa minds mo pa lang, you, you sin na. So, we always need to live with the presence of God in our lives to make us, alam mo yun, for us to bear fruit. Next, we are holy. Um, holiness is first a heart issue. Kasi feeling natin yung pagka-holy is pag, um, uh, marami kang yung, yung, yung religious na. Don't, parang let us not, isi, parang huwag natin isipin na yung holiness is yung, yung pagiging religious. Yung by works. Pero ang holiness daw is a heart issue. What is your heart? Diba? Are you acting ho- holy ba yung, yung heart mo? Sabi dito, it is who we are, not what we do. Who we are. Ano ba yung ano natin? Do we live by grace, God's grace? Do we live by His, by His word? Diba? Parang not what we do. Although yun yung result. When God is living in you, there is result. Pero kumbaga, it's not what we do. It's who you are. Sabi dito, because we are holy, we should live like we are holy. Holiness of heart produces a holy lifestyle. So, sabi sa 1 Peter 1, 15-16, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Kumbaga, we have a perfect, ano eh, kumbaga, kung may imitate tayong person, siya na yung perfect na pwede natin i-follow eh. Si Jesus eh, di ba? He who came not to, not to be served, but to serve, sabi nga ni Pastor kagabi, he's a perfect example kasi he had all physical weaknesses, yet he did not sin. Amen? Amen. Di ba? Kung baga, lahat, nagutom siya, naantok siya, lahat ng nararamdaman natin, nararamd- nararamdaman ni Jesus, pero, he chose to follow God's way. So tayo, as Christians, we are called to be holy as well. Amen. So yun, how do we do that? We need to abide in His Word. We need to read the Word for us, para mag-open yung minds natin. Renew our minds. And, alam mo yun, God, the Holy Spirit will let us understand kung ano yung mga sinasabi. So, ito lang, just three kinds of IDs. Last last thing. Para meron daw tayong expired ID. Ano ba yung expired ID? Kasi identity, we're talking about identity, di ba? Di ba when you have uh, an ID or a badge, dito badge eh. <laughs> an ID badge. Yun yung, yun yung ano, makikita, ano yung name nyo? Itingin sa ID mo, di ba? Yun yung your identity, ano, doon malalaman kung sino ka talaga. So, sabi dito, meron daw tayong iba't ibang klaseng IDs in our lives. May expired ID daw. Yung expired ID, still identifies with their old life of sin. Kumbaga, new creation ka na, pero balik ka pa rin ng balik. May expir- expired na yan, binabalik ka mo pa yung expired na yun. Hindi eh, ko alam, we have our own circumstances. Pwede, like for me, pang- pag-iinom. Parang <laughs> kasi sabi, pag-iinom talaga. Mami, magpunta na naman sa pag-iinom. Sa akin lang yun, sa akin lang yun. <laughs> yun yung isa sa mga expired IDs ko. Kumbaga, huwag na tayong babalik dun sa previous sinful life natin. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Next ID is the fake ID. You live a double life. 
You're doing this on Sunday, pero pag ikaw na lang, kung ano na ginagawa mo, that you know, is not pleasing to God. Alam mo, nothing escapes God eh. Kung you are pretending to other people, God sees you. Diba? He knows everything you do. So, kumbaga, walang, walang, lusot, walang lusot kay God. So, kumbaga, we, do, we shouldn't live a double life. Act and speak like disciples on Sunday and live like sinners on Monday to Saturday. Mm-hmm. Last Sunday ulit, huh? worship. <laughs> diba? Yung, dapat mag tayong ganun. Third, third ID is the real ID. Ito yung dapat meron tayo. We are chosen, royal, and holy. This is the foundation of our identity in Christ. Sabi dito, we need to update. Ngayong camp is a perfect time to update old IDs. I-update yan. Kasi lahat tayo, may mga issues eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi tayo perfect. So, we need to update our old IDs, throw away the fake IDs, and embrace our new identity in Christ. Okay. Diba? Sabi nga sa song kanina, Who am I? That the Lord of all the earth. Diba? Kung baga, ang sarap isipin na, I'm like a, a dust in the wind. Parang, diba, masyado matalinghaga. Pero, we are nothing eh. Pero God chose us. Diba? Who am I? But, pero, Lord, the Lord loves us. So, yun lang. Yun lang yung um, gusto kong i-take home for this session. So I hope you understand. Pray na lang, pray mo na tayo. Lord, um, we thank you, God, for this word, Lord God. Um, I know, Lord God, that your your word is powerful. When it, when you send it out, Lord God, it doesn't re- return empty. Lord, you send it out to us today, Father. You know each person here, Father, from the time they, they was born hanggang ngayon. Lord God, you know us by name. You have chosen us. Lord, we thank you because now pinaintindi mo sa amin na we are royal, we are chosen, we are holy, that through you we can do anything, nothing is impossible, oh God, that we um, can update our old IDs, we can throw away our double lives, Father God, and we, we, we can embrace our new identity in you, Lord God, that you alone, Lord God, that everything that is happening with us, Lord God, is for you, and kumbaga, um, thank you God for making us realize na we can, kumbaga, we can live Every day, Lord God, with your presence, God, we have great access with you. We have a holy access to you, Lord God, that we can come up to you in every decision in our lives. And we know that you are always there for us. So we thank you, God, because um, you have your identity, namin, Lord God, na build because of you. Um, people might see us na we are not deserving, we are not, we are unwanted, we are leftovers. But you, you have chosen us, and we thank you, God, for for um, for being. Um, for seeing us as precious, as your children, as your prince and princesses. Lord, we thank you, we love you, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ayan. Ang luma niyong IDing expired na, tabi niyo na ha. It's my date. It's the time. Okay, thank, thank you, Chet. 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 It is my, it is my mm-hmm. prayer kasi na yung attitude natin na hindi si lahat, hindi lang matapos dito sa camp, kundi paging pagdating natin sa, sa London, magtataka sila, ay bakit ang sipag na nila ay resulta ng camp. Ay, <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> i-share ko ang the making of a servant leader. Okay, same same verse. Matthew chapter 10, verse 25 to 28. Uh, verse 20, hindi ko napalitan. Then the mother of Zebedee's, uh, Zebedee's sons came to him with her sons, kneeling down and asking something from him. And he said to her, What do you wish? She said to him, Grant that these two sons of mine may sit one of your right hand and the, and the other on the left in your kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said to him, We are able. So he said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my Father. Okay. 
Uh, gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na uh, na nabanggit ni 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 Chacha yung ano, uh, ang pagiging royal mo ay nasa dugo, hindi dahil ganito na tapos mo, ganito na pag-aralan mo, kundi nasa dugo mo 'yon. Kasi hindi ka mag-aral royal ka pa rin. Ang pagiging leaders din ay hindi ka ipinanganak na leaders, pero ginawa ka. Nag-develop ka as a leader. Wala namang ipinanganak na presidente ah. <laughs> di ba? Di ba? So, na-develop na lang yun. Ganon din ang mga leaders. So, aim ko nga din, magiging leader din kayo with with your own uh, sphere of influence. Mag-umpisa man lang doon. So, members of the royal family, sa isa nga tayo na espiritu, ano? <laughs> Has been trained how to speak, how to act, and behave like one. Yung kanilang pagiging, ano, uh, royal family, nasa dugo yon Pero, yung pag-act, pag-speak, kinitrain sila noon. Na mayroon talaga silang kagaya niyan, si, si, si Prince Harry o si Prince William, may trainer talaga yan mula sila pagkabata para mag-act sila as like one. Na, sabi nga, nabanggit nga niya, Chichay, maganda na, karugtong yung topic namin na kung royal family ka, uh, ano ka, identified as Jesus ka, act like one. Sa atin lang kasi, hindi tayo nag-act like one. Act like two siguro, pwede. <laughs> Nakukuha niyo ang point ka. Okay, so, it is so with servant leaders. We are made, we are not born. The disciples were trained for it for three and a half years. So, kung nagiging leaders ng mga disciples, dapat din, kaya, kasi na-train sila for three and a half years. Minsan nga, pinag-isipan ko, tama kaya, makakang lampas na, marami ng lampas ng three and a half years dito. Parang... Ganun pa rin naman ata ang nangyari. At least kasi ang mga disciples noon, nag-full time sila. So, yung haba ng time na nakasama nila si Jesus, kaya nag, doon sa three and a half years na yun, malaki yung impact sa atin. Kasi, lalo na kung sa Sunday ka lang nakikinig, pagdating ng Monday, wala ka na pakialam sa Bible, wala ka na pakialam sa napapakinggan mo, kaya hindi ganun ka ano yung growth. So, it is my prayer na, hindi lang kayo magiging members or mga ordinary believers, pati magiging leaders kayo. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, aim nga natin for us to be able to take uh, whatever it takes to become a leader. Gusto niyo bang maging leader? Magiging great? O parang sinabi ni Lord, maghihiwa na raw ng alas tres. Kayo na lang ho, maging leader. <laughs> magiging great. <laughs> Okay, so, for us to be motivated to become one. Okay, so, principles of a servant leader, of a servant leadership, okay? Una, leadership is predetermined. Maliwanag ba yung predetermined? Nga, kung ito yung destination mo, andi dito pa lang, hindi ka pa nakarating, na-determine na. Ganyan ang predetermined. So, na predetermine yung leadership natin. Hindi tayo ipinanganak, pero ipinanganak, uh, uh, inherent sa atin na magiging leader ang bawat isa. Predetermine nga eh. Bakit? Kasi, okay, explain ko mamaya. It is not something you do, it is something you are. Oh, oh makaisa talaga, no? <laughs> sa dami-dami ng topic ko, topic mo, halos magkaisa yung mga explanation natin. Bakit? Iisa ang Diyos na pinaglilingkuran natin. Iisa ang Diyos na nangungusap sa alin. Okay, so, you cannot retire from it as a bird cannot retire from flight. So, kung ang, ang ibon daw, hindi niya pwede sabihin, hindi na ako lilipad, lalangoy na lang ako. Hindi pwede yun. Hindi pwede mag-retire ang isang ibon sa paglilipad. So, ganun din, ang mga anak ng Diyos, hindi tayo makapag-retire sa pagiging leader, sa pagiging royal priesthood. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, konting konting background lang, dugtong ko lang sa doon sa ano ni sa sa pagiging priest. Sa Old Testament kasi, wala tayong wala tayong access sa sa God the Father. Pagka nag-approach ka sa God the Father, lalo sa Holy of Holies, to the sky kapag hindi ka prepared. Actually, ang pwede lang pumasok doon high priest once a year pa. Pero sa sa New Testament, by the blood of Jesus may access na tayo. So hindi na natin kailangan ang priest. Ang ibig sabihin kasi ng priest ay tagapamagitan. Ano pa? Nakalimutan na? Bridge to Jesus. Bridge builder. So, ang priest at saka tao, Diyos, namamagitan ang priest kasi ang tao walang ugnayan sa Diyos. 
Ang, ang, ang main function ng priest sa Old Testament is taga-offer ng sacrifice para ma-appease nila ang Lord. Pero dahil kay Jesus, may relasyon na tayo, katayo nang nakakilala sa Diyos, ang bridge builder sa mga hindi nakakilala. Kaya mar maraming la tao lalapit sa atin, pwedeng pakipray mo sa akin ito. Kasi bridge builder ka na eh. Priest ka na. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Priest ka, royal pa. Ito eh. Okay, so Matthew 20:23, he said to them, "You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my Father." So, yung leadership mo, yung space mo sa kaharian ng Dios, nakalaan na yon. Ay may inilaan ng Dios sa yon, tapos wala ka na ng pakialam. Bakit? Kasi hindi ka na hindi ka na develop, hindi ka na motivate, hindi ka na mumold, na cultivate sa pagiging leader. Okay. The Creator is preparing for you what He has prepared for, for you. Predetermine na yun. Okay. Pangalawa, leadership is prepared position. Kapag sinabing prepared, He has set aside places for everyone who is supposed to have them. So kung may space ako, may place na ako sa kingdom ng Lord, kayo din, mayroon. Makakala nyo. Minsan lang kasi, parang ang mentality kasi natin sa paglilingkod, sa pagiging leader, ay, si pastor, kasi pastor yan eh. Ako, andyan nga yung sabi mo, hindi, wala man ako pinag-aralan. Parang, di na daw natin ang sarili natin, o naunahan tayo ng mga mentality na ganun. Ultimo lang ako, wala man ako, hindi man ako magaling magsalita, shy ako. Nakakuha nyo, fine ka. Okay, so, When you prepare something, it means you establish it beforehand. Kagaya nito, pinag-prepare natin ang camp na ito. January ko pang inorganize ito na, <laughs> sabi ni Flor, sa susunod November daw <laughs> i-organize. <laughs> Kasi January pa inorganize hanggang ngayon eh, pukunti pa din. Kasi may purpose ang Lord sa lahat ng bagay. So what you were born to do is in effect, predestined. So yung pagiging pastor ko pala, predestined na yon. Yung pag-acquire mo or magiging future ng, ng growth ng paglilingkod mo, predestined na yun. Nasa sa'yo na kung mag ka sa plan ng Lord sa buhay mo. Amen. Okay, so you can refuse to fulfill it, but you will suffer bitterly as you turn, turn into something God did not intend. Kasi may prepare siya yun. Eh, Naggawa ka ng butas na sarili mong butas, hindi doon sa plano ng Lord, ikaw ang mahihirapan. Okay? Leadership demands a price. Yes? Okay. To get your spot, you have to pay the price. Another topic natin yun. Matthew 20.22, But Jesus answered and said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? So kung gusto nyo magiging leader, gusto nyo magiging nasa itaas, kaya nyo ba na magpihirap kagaya ko? Kaya nyo bang danasin yung pagbabata na, na, na dadalhin ko? Do you have what it takes, Pastor? Do you have what it takes? Okay? Leadership is inherent. Nasabi ko na ito sa introduction na maliwanag ba yung inherent? Parang built-in ba? Kagaya ng satnab ko, built-in, eh, 2005 pa, medyo nag-duty rin nata, eh, nal naligaw ko sila ng isang oras. <laughs> It is not given to you by request or prayer. You were born with it. Hindi ka magpe-pray, Lord, naggawin mo akong leader, Lord, gawin mo akong servant mo, kundi born with it ka na, built in sa'yo yan. Kaya huwag kang magtataka kung may mga aspirations ka pa or wala kang satisfaction sa buhay mo despite doon sa mga mga achievements mo sa buhay, despite sa mga mga accumulations ng pounds mo or possessions mo or investment mo. Kasi yung satisfaction mo ando doon sa pagiging built-in na inherent yung pagiging leader mo kung paglilingkod sa Lord. May purpose ang Lord sa buhay mo. Amen. Okay, so God gave us free will so we can decide not to be what we are supposed to be. Hindi tayo pinrogram ng Lord na, na, na ano, uh, kagaya nung ka, kahapon. Yung, sinaksak yung I, iPhone ko doon sa kotse, sabi doon, in, this, uh, this, ano ba yung sabi na, it is not supported. 
this cable is not supported. Uh, this cable or parang ganon, hindi this daw supported device. sa, uh, this device is not supported. Na, para ba kang isipin ng, ng ibang tao na yung, yung, yung paglilingkod is just designed for few people, pero hindi. Design yan para sa lahat. So, huwag mong sabihin na, oh, ay, this paglilingkod is not do supported sa buhay mo. No way. <laughs> Inherent yan. Gets? Okay. So, leadership is a divine deposit. Deposit na yan kasi prepared na yan eh. Beforehand. May dineposit na. Kaya nga naging inherent. Okay. The Father had already secured a place for you. God has arranged it already. Prepared na nga eh. Leadership is not for you but for others. Kapag sinabi kong not for you, not for you to benefit it but for others to benefit from your leadership. Okay, baka sabihin mo, oh, baka ang pagkaintindi mo, not for you, ay, tama nga, sila lang yun. <laughs> so, your gift is not for you, what you were born to do is to serve. Amen. Okay, example na lang. Uh, mayroon ba kayong feeling na kapag yung ibang tao, lalo kapag hindi mo close, nag-smile sa'yo, parang karang ka ng utang sa kanya, kaya ang gagawin mo, magbayad ka, smile ka rin. <laughs> yung iba naman, kahit plastic, <laughs> ang smile, hindi mo nakikita hindi para sa'yo pero yung mga taong pinag-smilean mo nakikinabang noon maaring hindi ikaw mismo nakikinabang ang pakinabang mo na lang kapag nag-respond sila at nalaman nila na hindi ka pala galit sa kanila kahit hindi mo nabayaran <laughs> na example lang yan okay, so car wasn't created to get itself somewhere but to transport someone Ang kotse, hindi siya dinisign para makarating ang kotse doon, kundi yung tao nasasakay sa kotse. Klaro naman siguro yan. Pag hindi pa, wala naman atang bumili ng kotse para yung kotse niya makarating ng, ng pensans. Ano? Bumili siya ng kotse para siya makarating sa pensans. Gets? Okay. So, leadership is becoming yourself for the benefit of others. Hindi karamihan sa atin, hindi lang kasi nagiging cult cultivated yung pagiging leader. Kaya yung, yung mga taong dapat makinabang sa leadership niya, sa, sa gift niya, hindi nag enjoy o hindi nag-benefits. Kasi nga, yung leadership na stagnant. Okay. It is not something you do, it is something you become. So, ang pagiging leader pala is becoming who you are kasi inherent na sa'yo. Prepared na ng Lord sa atin yan. You have to find out what you were born to become. Natanong niyo ba sa sarili niyo yan? Lord, bakit mo ba ako nilikha? Bakit mo ba ako ipinanganak? Kailangan ko pa bang sabihin sa inyo kung ilang ilang bilang yung mga similya ng lalaki para lang na, na nag-aagawan sila para mabuo ka? Ilang mi milyon ba yan? Wala kang idea? Wala rin akong idea. <laughs> yung, 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 yung sperm count ba, na marami, marami nga akong nakausap na kulang daw sila sa bala, pero so, hindi ko maintindihan. Iisa lang ang kailangan, pero may kulang sa bala. Ang point ko lang doon, sa dami ng mga, mga similya ng lalaki na nag-aagawan, na buo ka, naisip mo ba bakit ka binuo ng Lord? Anong purpose mo sa buhay mo? Ah, kung hindi pa, mag-isip-isip ka na habang magbuhay pa. <laughs> habang bata pa. The earlier you found your purpose, the greater, the, the, or the, the higher the tendency or possibility that, that you will fulfill your purpose. Kaysa naman, ay, magre-retire na ako. Ito pala purpose ng buhay ko. Ano ito? Yeah. <laughs> nung nung nagsiserve ako sa El Shaddai at the age of 21, full time na ako, sabi ng mga, mga matantanda, nagbibless sa akin, ay ang palad mo brother, kasi ang aga-aga mong nakakilala at naglingkod sa Lord. Eh, kaya saan naman mag-50 ka na, saka mo ka pa mag... <laughs> ay, kung, at least kung 50 ka na, na-found out mo. Eh, better late than nothing. And sa Lord, nothing is too late. Okay, ang point ko lang doon is dapat i-found out natin yung ating ano. Okay, pangalang bigyan kong pan pansin, how are leaders born? Una, a leader can be born at any time, at any age. Gets ba? Amen. Okay, sample. It could be during a crisis, pressure, overwhelming circumstances, tra tragedy or disaster, or when an individual discovers his true purpose and passion. 
na, na natuklasan ko ang pagiging ng ang ng calling ng Lord ng purpose ng pan, uh, ng pagkalikha ng Diyos sa akin noong ako ay nagano naglead ng Bible study nung nagre-review kami for board exam sa Cebu Bible study ako ng Bible study hanggang sa nabuo yung Bible study sa sa buong batch doon ko nasabi na dito ako tinawag ng Lord Ikaw pwede mong ma-found out at any time yung yung purpose mo yung gift mo or at a particular ano crisis halimbawa karamihan mga panganay na lalaki kapag namatay yung namatay yung tatay nila ano pala nalaman nila na ganito pala ang potential ang capability nila nagiging responsable na develop na build up na born yung pagiging leader sa buhay niya nasusunod okay example Jesus at the age of 12 in the temple. Biruin nyo. At the age of 12, ay, salamat naman, andito si Darlene nakikinig. <laughs> si na DJ, eh, eh, iwan ko kung nag-intended para magbantay sa bata, pero at the age of 12, pwede ka na magiging leader. Jesus was at the age of 12, found in the temple, asking and answering questions kasama yung mga yung mga priests. Hindi ganun kadali yon. Why? Kasi na-found out lang kasi niya na ganun ang, ang ano niya, ang gift niya or design siya or purpose niya yon. Kaya nga, nung sinabihan siya ni Mary, sabi niya, don't you know that I should be in my father's business? Ikaw, sa itinagal ng buhay mo, nasumpungan mo na na you should be in the father's business? Or you mind your own business? <laughs> <laughs> he told his mother, don't you know, nasabi ko na yan, most of the great leaders in history were not looking for leadership. Na-found out lang nila yon. Something happened that made leaders God intended. Your personality type is not a factor in your leadership ability. Bakit sabihin nyo, eh, pastor, eh, shy kasi ako sa tao eh. Bakit? Akala nyo, hindi ako shy? <laughs> Parang hindi kayo maniwala. <laughs> Sa so, totoo lang, nung, nung college ako, mag, mag, may mga mga case presentation, pipito lang yung classmate ko. Nauutal ako. Panay ang balik ko sa toilet kasi kinakabahan ako. Pa, ang trabaho ko kasi, mga ansyaw. So kapag ako na magsalita, takot na ako mga ansyaw. <laughs> hindi, hindi ko tayo magsalita sa maraming tao sa college. Kaso lang, built-in lang sa akin yun, na cultivate na, na motivated ako. Salamat naman sa Lord, hindi na ako nauutal ngayon. Nabubulol na lang. <laughs> So, <laughs> may intentional training and development. So, ang um, pagiging leader, hindi ka born on, but you were made. So, kung gusto mong magiging leader, dapat may training ka, may development ka sa pagiging leader mo. Okay? Leadership grows out of opportunities and projects. Okay, pangatlo, process of becoming a leader, una, uh, uh, hindi pa yung process, people who try to pursue greatness are usually not yet leadership material. Nag-ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka pa equip. Nasusundan ba ako? Kahit, kahit ako, hindi ko masasabi sa inyo na fully equipped na ako when it comes na pagdating ng, ng time na napakalaki na ng church natin. Minsan ka iniisip ko, Lord, hanggang, hanggang 30 lang ba may pagkatiwala mo sa akin? <laughs> consider ako. Kaysa naman, wala na nga nangyayari. Hindi ka pa nag-iisip. Okay. So, whoever wants to become great among you must become your servant. Parang, buti naman, wala ko na rin. Sa inyo na lang ho. <laughs> so, sabi doon, whoever. Which means, everyone or anyone. So, ang pagiging leader din is, dinidesire mo. <laughs> May desire ba kayo? Yes. Okay. Wants to become means desire. Desires leadership. Minsan kasi, may mga tao gusto nila maging follower na lang sila kaysa sa magiging leader. Ayaw nila ng responsibility. Akala nyo ba magi, madali magiging leader? Pero gusto ko sabihin sa inyo, hindi madali, pero built in sa'yo yun. Design ka ng Lord na magiging leader. May, na, may naka-prepared sa'yo. Okay, so... Uh, mag magiging great, powerful, or significant. May kwenta ka. Na, halimbawa na lang, hindi sa, example ko lang, ano, pag ako ang nawala sa, sa ministry na ito, medyo malaking kapilayan ng ministry. Kasi ako yung nagiging taha, uh, ahaligi ng tahanan ng ministry, or nagiging father ng ministry. So, ikaw ba, pagka 
pagka nawala ka, may kwenta, may epekto yung pagkawala mo. Mga challenge ko lang ito ba? Na, ma, ma, makikita natin ang significant kung ano ang kapilayan kapag nawala ka. Na, nakukuha niyo ba ang point ko? Hindi ko, hindi ko sinachallenge kung wala kang significant, umalis ka na. Hindi ganun ang point ko. <laughs> na, nakukuha niyo? Okay, so, kapag nagiging significant ka, nagiging great ka, okay, must is required. Walang excuse yan. Hindi yan uh, could be or would, but must. Compulsory. Be a servant, minister to others, endeavor to meet their needs. Okay. It's not because we find our gifts, we already know how to serve them. Andiyan na yung gift mo, pero hindi mo ginagamit, hindi, hindi enough yan. Okay. It can become destructive. Sample na lang. Sample, sabi ng itong, itong dalawa nga, mahilig magpasikat, hindi si James and John ang tinutukoy ko na ang tawag sa kanila ay Sons of Thunder. Biruin mo na lang, ikaw yung may gift na magpababa ng apoy. Na lahat ng mga hindi mo hindi mo naakay sa church, lahat ng nag-gossip nag, nag, nag sa Facebook, pinababaan mo ng apoy. Namatay na! <laughs> Nakuha niya ang point ka. So, a gift could be destructive kung gagamitin mo ito not to serve others but for your own benefits or gagamitin mo ito in a way na not intended sa ways ng Lord. Sa example pa, si si Hitler. Kilala niyo ba si Hitler? Germany. Buti pa kayo, kilala niyo. Ako hindi. <laughs> si Hitler, sa, sa, sa dunong na taglay niya, ilang tao ang pinatay niya. Instead na dapat yung gift niya para sa benefits ng tao. Nakukuha. Okay, so, the process begins with knowing yourself. Ako ba may, may fake ID or expired ID or true na yung ID ko? Know yourself! Okay? Ask yourself, who am I? Timing na timing yung kanta talaga, anak. Our God is a God of order. Y- yung kanta na yun, sinambit mo lang ba o pinagninilayan mo? Ninamnam mo ba yung lyrics ng kanta na yun? Na, kung, kung ako, yung una kong marinig yung kanta, naantig yung damdamin ko. Hindi man ako emotional, pero pagdating doon sa uh, minsahin ng kanta, naantig yung damdamin ko. Bless na bless ako sa kanta na yun. Okay? Can I be a servant? Do I really want to be a slave? <laughs> Uh, sa inyo na lang ho. <laughs> Am I willing to be the youngest? Yung ikaw yung utos-utosan. I am the oldest. <laughs> I am the oldest. <laughs> what is my function? Ikaw ba ay appendix lang sa body of Christ o may function ka? Okay. What is my purpose? What is my gift? Siguro naman, alam niyo na yung gift. Does it bring me joy? Y- yung gift mo, yung paglilingkod mo, gi- nag- nag-bring ba ng joy sa'yo? Amen. Natutuwa ka ba pag- kapag nagkaroon ka ng pagkakataong maglingkod o natutuwa ka pag nakita mo yung ibang taong naglilingkod sa'yo? Okay? Does it benefit others? Sa buhay mo, marami bang nakikinabang? Okay, pasto, marami ako na pag-aral na pamangkin, marami ako tinutulungan sa Pilipinas. Natural lang yun. Pero what I'm trying to say here is para sa edification ng body of Christ, nag-benefit ba yung others sa buhay mo? Baka naman napaaral mo nga, naging doktor, hindi naman naligtas, hindi nakakilala sa katotohanan. Wala din. Okay? Consult with God. So, know yourself, consult with God. Gusto mo, gusto, ang point dito is, ang pinaiisip mo ba ay yung iniisip ng Diyos para sa buhay mo? Ang nangyari lang kasi, we must also determine that what we have in mind is what our Creator has in mind. Maliwanag ba yun? Okay. The reason why we fail most of the time is we fail to consult Him. Kailan tayo magkukonsult? Kapag nag-fail na. Ba totoo lang? It's only when we fail that we consult Him. Proverbs 19.21 Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So, the more na nag-i-insist ka sa purpose ng Lord, the more na pinahirapan mo ang sarili mo. Pero kapag nag-sangayon ka na sa purpose ng Lord sa buhay mo, masabi mo, 
parang wala ka hirap hirap ang buhay ko. May 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 mga bad circumstances ka pero yung struggle ng puso mo hindi ganoon kahirap kasi nag-flow ka sa purpose ng Lord sa buhay mo. Okay? We have seen that every human being has a prepared place, a leadership spot where he belongs and can accomplish a purpose in life. Your job is what they pay you to do, but your work is what you were born to do. Yet, when you become yourself through work, you serve yourself to the world. Hindi lahat tinawag ng pastor, hindi lahat tinawag na, na magiging choir, pero may kanya-kanya kang, may kanya-kanya tayong gift na in our own little ways, in our own sphere of influence, may panawagan at purpose sa Lord, si Lord sa buhay mo. That's what we were born to be, that's who we are. Leadership is becoming oneself for the benefit of others. Bakit kasi nasabing becoming oneself? Kasi prepared ka nga, predestined yung leadership, so You should become what you what you are kasi ganyan ang plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Challenge! Do you still want to be great first or leader? Bulo? Amen. 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 <laughs> sa inyo na lang ho. <laughs> okay? What are you doing for you to become one? Para magiging leader ka, ano ang ano ang ginagawa mo sa part ng cultivation ng sarili mo para magiging leader ka kasi nga predestined tayo na magiging leader not necessarily na lahat magsasalita kundi leadership ba is ikaw yung, ikaw yung nag-make ng desisyon ikaw yung nangunguna sa dapat gawin In, uh, maraming, maraming ways ang pagiging leader okay, conclusion ulit Matthew 20, 20.23 so he said to them, you will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my Father. Amen. So mag-pray tayo. Lord, uh, pinasalamatan ka namin, Lord God, na patuloy mo kaming uh, uh, tinatanglawan, uh, uh, patuloy mong winaway din ang aming pangunawa through the understanding of your word. Alangin nga namin, Lord, na yung pagiging inherent ng leadership na inilagay mo sa amin, Panginoon, Uh, isang verse pa na magpatunay nito Lord na lahat kami ay nilikha mong leader because you have created us in your image and likeness to rule over all the earth ang leader Lord ay nagrule pero marami sa amin Lord talunan kami ng aming circumstances talunan kami ng mga mga uh, uh, tactics and strategies ng kalaban para maging sa simpleng pagbabasa ng Biblia sa simpleng uh, pag pananalangin, O Lord God, devotion sa iyo, ay hindi po namin nagagawa. Maging sa aming paglilingkod, uh, maraming pagkakataon, Panginoon, or maging sa aming paglilingkod, Lord God, marami na kaming nagawa, pero uh, what we have done is not enough kung ikumpara sa uh, uh, pag-prepare mo sa amin, sa aming mga potential na nakabaon sa amin, O Lord God. So ano man yung mga dormant abilities or gifts sa aming buhay, Lord? Ikaw nawa ang mag-make manifest nito habang kami po ay patuloy na nagpapasakop sa iyo. Gawin niyo po kaming mga lingkod na kagaya mo, O Lord God, who came to serve, but not to, not to be served, but to serve. So we pray, Lord, for your anointing, for your Holy Spirit to work within us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alam kung anong exact time, oh, 9.22, uh, ta- uh, atas pala ito. So, uh, ang ano natin ngayon, kakain tayo ng breakfast, then uh, mag-impake ng para lunch. Ang gagawin na lang natin, para ako na ang babalik, uh, pwede naman apat sa iyo, di ba? Bali, uh, lima kayo lima. lahat, lima lahat. Ganon din kay Haim Sampo. Sa akin, gagawin kong kahit pito yung maunang ihatid, para ako na mag-isang babalik pito. Sa ano tayo ngayon? Sa sa yung sa Minak Chatter nga. So, and then ang nagsawa na tayo sa Minak Chatter, samantalahin natin yung araw, pupunta tayo ng ng Lancet. Bukas St. Michael siguro tayo. Any question? Sa loob sa theater muna or Chat Chatter muna. Chatter muna, then bababa tayo sa beach. Okay. Uh, by the way, may bayad ang Minak Chatter. For ba yan? For ang adults? Hindi, to 2010 pa yun. Ha? So, so, 11. Pwede pong ano? 2010. Ha? 
Pwede ba card? Ano na lang, mag-group na lang tayo, kolektahin na lang para mas mura. Mas magmura kasi ang group ano, uh, group booking. Hindi ko, ko matandaan kung 3 or 4 pounds ang adult. Hindi hindi na tayo, pero mas pag pag ano pag, meron pag, sa mga uh, Ah, ano pa sa chatter? Ah, may may activities din sila sa chatter kasi open chatter kayo. Kaso pa, pambata masyado. Gusto niyo yung may si Winnie the Pooh or mga something like that. Masyado. <laughs> may, yung mga schedule na uh, for adults kasi hindi natin alam yun. Ang visit natin is for a day lang naman. Pero, igagaranti ko sa inyo, you will have the best spot sa UK. Really. I will guarantee you of that. So, lahat ng mapuntahan mo na mag-enjoy ka sa UK, yung Minak Chatter, ang i-ano i- i- ko sa inyo. Okay. So, kain tayo ngayon, tapos balikan ko yung pito. Paki-prepare na rin yung mga pagkain dadalhin for lunch natin. Okay. Yan lang po. Maraming yes. salamat. God bless. Kailangan ko lang. Bukas. Maga. Ang Merkulis.